I wanna start this episode with some major YouTube updates for April 2021. So according to the official community guidelines, we can now use words like shit and bitch, in the first 30 seconds. And so, konnichiwa bitches! Okay, for those don't run GNOME, I'm gonna start with the current GNOME software app at version 40, so they can spot the changes. Main menu on the right. Main navigation on center with updates, our installed apps, and explore which is also the home page. And here on the right we have the search button. If we go a little bit down right after the featured, we have the categories, and let's randomly get into this one. And now we see those menus up here are gone, and the same will happen if we go inside some app. Again the navigation menus are off. So we should go twice back, and in general the app navigation is pretty bad. And then of course we have the responsive mode, which actually we don't have yet, and that's something will hopefully change on GNOME 41 release in September. So we have this merge request, which is based on the official mockups by the design team. And please remember this is a very early work and things will definitely be different of the final release. So things are currently kinda like this. And obviously the first thing we notice is the left sidebar. But it's also very important we now have the app menu here, and basically this is a second header bar. That design is very similar to the settings app, and sorry for a bit, gonna quickly show it for those who don't have GNOME. So we have those identical baby header bars on both apps, and if we scale the window, we'll get a single page navigation, pretty much like the Android settings app. Now, the other thing is when we are on the Explore, or on the installed page, that were the main pages we had previously on top center, or on updates, we see that both the sidebar and the main content remain visible. But when we go on categories that are right below, we see that the sidebar will disappear similar to the previous design. Can't find the mockups on that, but this might change and the sidebar will be always on. And the same happens if we go inside in app details, so for going back we again need two clicks like before, which is very annoying. And then we have the responsive mode which is very unfinished, but we can see already that main navigation moves on bottom, and probably you have seen that on some other apps. But for getting into categories we need to go to home page and scroll all the way down, which is obviously a terrible design, and I'm not either seeing something different on mockups. Then again, design and even the actual functionality, is the least of the worries, because there are way more fundamental problems here. Like having a company that makes GNOME phones that nobody buys. Or having a company that makes Linux phones that everyone buys, but they come with plasma that nobody uses. What a bitch! And then we have a GNOME app store but without having an operating system, so I'm not sure where the apps are distributed at. But the most important of everything, is to know how you can pretending to agree with someone without actually giving a shit on what they says. Uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux rebuild basically, uh, that they can run for many years to come, and that they can, uh, you know, have their workloads running on for many years to come without having to worry about uh, any of those issues. Okay, nice. 